The agenda quickly will do the, uh, the introduction. We'll talk a little bit about what is Connect My Data and update a little bit of a year in review, uh, lessons learned from California, uh, a little bit on value and an example of a use case. Uh, and again, member profiles, I'm gonna go through about five or six uh, companies are gonna just talk a little bit about what they're doing. Uh, and then the look ahead. And then part of this is uh, hopefully to provide us some feedback on where we are and where we can go to, to get appreciation. So hopefully um, you find this uh, worth your time and hopefully uh, material you can share. So Green Button Alliance is really about, our vision is really to be the one-stop shop. So we're looking at really um, the single point for, for everything as far as uh, uh, from start, from if you're thinking about it, from marketing to certification to, to looking at where we're at. So our key three primary objective alliance group is really is the standard the North, and, and publishing the standard and helping influence that standard with NASB. And compliance, we're looking at actually at certification. So we're making sure that, you know what, it's one to have it compliant, but how do you ensure that? And we're looking at, uh, we did have the UL, but now we're looking at GBA, looking at certification. And about global adoption, we're really talking about value props and, and things that we can break down borders and, and things uh, in particular, you know, that includes other resources. So this works for gas, water, and electricity. It can work for steam. It works for any time series data, even EB data. Like, so looking ahead, we're really looking and saying, you know, how do we look at this from an overall point of view? One of the things around global adoption, just you're aware, we're, we're trying to look at this as being uh, not, you know, Europe developing their own standard. And that's one of the challenges we have. We want to look at that and, and try and see if there's global companies. And so it's to let third parties and, and, and you know, develop one place, uh, an app that runs here in Phoenix, could run in, in, in London, Ontario. So it's sort of, that's really the goal. And we can break down borders and so forth. And what we're doing. So we have 40 uh, members right now. I think uh, we were 29 last year. So it's a cross section, right from large utilities like Exelon to small utilities in Ontario, Integris. So we've got it covered. We've got some, uh, you know, third parties who are solar based and, and others like Utility Pi providing platforms. You've got UniGas and, and some of the other areas coming in. And we recently just got a Korean uh, Institute as well that's looking at translating this, uh, this into, a, into, into Korean. And we're looking at, uh, you know, obviously California utilities have been there for a while now. and we've had a uh, fair number of people join and even I think there's something looking at uh, blockchain crypto energy, uh, energy as well and, and sort of looking at things like that. So there's some new technology, new things in areas and, and water is one of the other key things that uh, we see. You've got smart energy consumers and, and things like that. A picture of Don. <laughs> hey Don, we can see you now. All right. And obviously the ministry, so there's government agencies and all So uh, we feel very fortunate you know, that um, we're hoping that we keep progressing. Our goal is to, to keep expanding uh, this community. So uh, green button. So there's two parts of it. Can download my data, which is more of a self-service, you know, a standard format that you produce. And a lot of people feel that that's what green button is only. This is just a standard format for sharing data. Uh, and it, beyond that is really the connect my data is a real jewel. Like it's, it's the real piece that really connects customers to, to uh, vendors, to third parties, to the utility. And it's made up of really a secure way of sharing this for, for energy use and even billing information that we're looking at. So you're really looking at it from, from that point of view. And there's made up of three components. Really it's about the data model, as we talked about the standard, which is important. It's about the architecture, which is really service oriented, including how we handle the messaging and, and so forth in a secure way. And authentication, privacy, security. That seems to be, is a key player piece for us that we need to look at and we'll do. So those are all aspects that are there. It's, it's, it's takes a while and, the, and, the, and it's, it's a fair amount of technical knowledge that we've gained, I think you know, in particular with the GBA to, to help companies. So that's the, really the takeaway as well is that if you really need some help on, on it, you know, come to the GBA staff and, and particularly Don Topman and uh, Jeremy Roberts are the two players that are RIT in helping us move forward. So uh, this started, and I know some say it's taken a while, but sometimes, you know, it's like wine, maybe, I guess it's when it's ready for its time, you know, <laughs> like, you know, uh, you know, when I first looked at this, and, we, and it, it goes back in 2011, and in California, the U.S., and Obama, when the announcement came out, there was a lot of push, and, and, and we'll move on it, and so they took the lead, and I think uh, it was recognized, and, and moving forward, 
uh, and Green Button Alliance really was formed in early 2015, so it's almost you know, been four years in, in the making, uh, came together to help uh, and move forward. And, uh, and, and there'd been some White House events and so forth as well that sort of helped propel it and got some visibility. Obviously, with any administration change, things happen in time. But I think we have now moved as well into now this certification piece, which is, I think, a key piece for us. So we had a couple of successes in certification on the top row is really what was happening in the U.S. And I uh, really want to thank, I know, for, for uh, the utilities who went first and, and were, you know, and, and sharing their ideas and, and lessons learned and help on the side, really from Ontario, when we started from that side. And, and, and as, as an example, we will say, hey, you know, we didn't want to do anything different in Canada. Let's try and do what we can when it's developed in, in the U.S. and build that forward and moving forward. And, and I think that we're hoping that relationship continues in not only in Ontario, but including in Alberta and Saskatchewan and B.C. across Canada is what we're looking for, as well as when we get into Europe and other places. And there's this statistics, you know, that uh, we can elaborate on this, what, 100 million, they said, for download my data, combine them well. The key part is, based on mission data, was about 36 million. And I think I don't know if that's in the next picture. So um, big announcement today is the fact that we just published our, our standard now with the new version that now supports uh, the, these following components. So it's a big thing that I think really what it's, it's actually uh, NASB and, and GBA staff very hard to, to get this done. And it was a key component that was required for, let's say, particularly in Ontario, they wanted to, they looking at, or any state looking at mandating and they can now point to a published standard that's current, that is based on all these components that the latest OLA, you know, looking at um, retail customer, and there's a lot of details in here that I won't go into, but, and to provide use case, there was some stuff that was removed as well to make it simple standard format. So a lot of time and effort, a lot of process that needs to go through the NASB standard group and whatever. So really today was actually, was, was our day that we wanted to actually say, you know, we, it was a major success. So while it looks at one slide to here, this is probably about a year in the making, you know, a plus of effort and what's going, been, been happening from uh, what was going on. So this um, will be announced and it will be coming out and you'll see some news releases and sort of idea on this plus too. Because that's what people are waiting for. They want to make sure, hey, this is standard, and now you can work on it. So this is a slide I was uh, referencing earlier, and this is the 18. So there's green states, which are really, they're about to, or in the process of, uh, of uh, looking at uh, green button. Uh, the blue are, are basically actively, the states that are actively uh, looking at it. And gray was intended for a lot of download by data. That's where that 100 million number came from. There's pockets of, of, of utilities who are doing it. This was published by Isaac and by Mission Data, who is a very good advocate of ours and, and looking at uh, where we are and, and what we're doing. So opportunity for us, and we've talked about this as, uh, you know, Customer Service Week, you know, as being part of uh, CEA as well, Canadian Electricity Association, or any other association. For us, it's really about collaboration. This is helping everything, each other, and how do we fast track? How do we not go through the, the pain each individually, and this is what, why this is important for us to do that across uh, the states. And as you can see, we've added Korea and, and, and other things in here that we, can, we want to look at. So it's really a, a good thing, and we're hoping this is a, a good a measure of, of, of for our customers and whatever. And again, just a little bit more detail on what was happening with download my data behind the scenes, states and provinces, and, and some of the other things which I won't go into through, but this is what's based on behind the scenes. And there's going to be a published map on the GBA that you'll be able to go through and drill and if you want some information and contact on what's going on. Is still my slide or is this Jeremy? Yep, this one's mine. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so I just wanted to let everyone know that the uh, that we've been working strongly with many of the public utility commissions and public service commissions uh, and of course the utilities in their area to help them understand uh, some of the benefits and how Green Button works with existing utility systems, uh, as many of them are afraid of, the, uh, of the, the big leap to go to Green Button, and we are trying to explain that it's not as big as they may feel. So by use of uh, application programming interfaces, utilities are, are simply able to reformat the, the data that they have in their current format to the Green Button uh, formats for, uh, for transfer 
to a third party. Uh, it only has to be done uh, on the fly. So there's no need for there to be a separate system that then retains the information in the green button format. It can be done uh, with API calls uh, and in, in concert with their, with their backend systems and their SQL uh, calls and, and other methods of getting their information and converting it on the fly when requested. And so uh, the, the flexibility then comes in in the fact that any kind of backend system can provide the information and it's not dependent on green button itself. We also want to uh, mention to you about our certification benefits because many uh, companies are considering certification uh, but haven't made that big step in taking it. Uh, we certainly want to be able to help you out as much as possible. And part of membership uh, provides uh, at the participating and at the sponsorship levels provides some help in getting to that point of being ready for certification. Uh, and you can also contract with us uh, on an hourly basis to get the education that you need to get you to that point. We have connect my data and download my data certification available right now today for data custodians also uh, more commonly known as uh, utilities, although it, uh, it could be a broader range than that. Uh, and we also have uh, Connect My Data for third parties in the works. We're working within our Open uh, ADE Committee, that uh, Open ADE Task Force, which is the Open Automated, da Automated Data Exchange Task Force uh, that's been around for many years to work on the rule sets uh, for the third parties. So you'll see some of the benefits here of getting certified uh, for Connect My Data, uh, as well as for Download My Data for those who already have it deployed. We also hear a lot of questions uh, from the Public Utility Commissions, as well as, uh, as utilities, wondering what the difference is between uh, the green button Connect My Data platform and an electronic data exchange platform, EDI, that they use currently to talk to ESCOs and others. Uh, each serve a different purpose, and so I wanted to point those out here uh, when referring to data formats, authorizations, transfer of those data, and the security of the transfers. So EDI is typically used to share data between regulated entities, uh, retail energy suppliers and so forth, who have already uh, been vetted to communicate and safely share information with a utility. Green Button Connect is really designed to share information with any type of third party. So there, there could be a simple mom and pop app that's developed. Uh, it could be a, a very large corporation that wants their own data. It could be somebody providing um, solar financing for, for residential customers as well. So there's, there's not that, uh, that pre-vetting that takes place at a regulatory level. Uh, therefore, we make sure in these four steps uh, the format, the authorizations, the transfer, and the security of those transfers, that we are, uh, we are both standardized in that methodology using XML to be universal uh, across all utilities. We're also looking for an explicit authorization on a one-to-one -one basis, meaning that, uh, that you don't simply have a key to get into the entire back door of the utility, but rather for each individual customer that is authorized. And then the sharing of the information is separated into two streams, a personal data stream, which may have addresses and, and meter numbers and so forth, and the usage data. And therefore, uh, it requires both streams put together to have uh, a context of sensitivity. And then lastly, uh, is the transfer of those data through secure web protocols, uh, such as TLS uh, uh, 1.2, 1.3, uh, HTTPS and um, and everything that uh, that comes along with those the cybersecurity suites uh, defined in the uh, NIST in the NIST cybersecurity suite of uh, FIPS 140-2 level one um, and so uh, some of the value propositions for membership I'll let uh, Syed take over again here and, and discuss some of these pieces for you. Yeah, just again from a different perspective. Uh, thanks, Jeremy. Uh, the key part is we think that this is part of customer engagement. This is a key piece is what we're talking about is to giving our customers more choice or more solutions that 
you know, it's tough for utilities, but, you know, we'd like to provide everything, but, it, you know, in a sense, we're saying, hey, there could be really like an app store concept where customers can get pieces and we're making that available uh, to, from a customer engagement point of view, really goes across uh, as a key piece. And I'm just going to mention a few of them. Um, the other part that's common is really development integration costs. So that's the key piece for us. How do you make onboarding really simple? Like if you want something and you want it, if you've developed an app and, and to help new startups or new, you know, students or anybody wants to create something, they can go from one utility to the other or across borders. And from a, our point of view as well, utility, you don't want to be working with each one and worrying about what uh, it's a standard and you can automate that process as much as possible. And then about knowing about what's going on. Um, again, there's a systems with certification um, and then it's eliminating, as we talked about multiple protocols, it's new business opportunities to really go and, and look at solutions. And uh, the study that was done in Ontario by a third party uh, consultant uh, for the Minister of Energy really highlighted that about 85% of the benefits of Green Button are for commercial industrial customers. So more or less residential get a free ride in the sense that you know, if you put it out there, you're really benefiting. It's really for commercial industrial. It's for people who span utility, you know, areas, territories. That's who really benefit from it. And that's really the key part for it. And and and, and residential again, since it's available. And, and we've been looking at and we've been pushing and Zarn will talk about Lundhander. We also think this is a real opportunity for us behind the meter. So if we're talking about data and avoiding the data silos that could be happening behind the meter, we feel that this is there. The next slide is just really uh, one example use case that we've had uh, with our school board, uh, which uh, you know, looked at, at various requirements, success, and, and for them, there was about 100, almost 160 schools or whatever that were there that spanned seven utilities. They were paying $50,000 for another company to actually grab the data from each of them. Every time there was a meter exchange or a problem, they had to get back and do letters of, letters of authorization again. All that, that stuff, we eliminated all that. And so this is for about 165 schools in, in Ontario alone, there's 4,000 schools. So you can extrapolate and say, what are the savings that would be for school boards? It's a very good example of one. And we'll have an example of a use case and a testimonial that really promotes. It's really, for a CNI, you're really promoting self-service and letting them do that and, and promoting that and take away calls for us. I mean, from a utility point of view, calls for us. And it's part, part of it is this promotion of conservation programs, the, the DER, what's happening with solar, energy management, energy. It's all that piece that we're laying that foundation. So it's a really a foundation piece that we're talking about that, that we're enabling uh, these in, this, in school boards in particular. Just a quick uh, year in review. Um, we do this every year. Uh, we look at and said, okay, where are we with uh, memberships? It's, a, it's not a flat line because we're dead or anything like that. So <laughs> just, just, <laughs> I know you're going to know something. It's more of a, uh, we, we, we'd prefer it to be higher. I mean, the fact that, as I said, we moved from 20 to 9 to 40. It would be, we, we need more members and we need some more sponsorship level membership as well. Uh, but to be on the board, uh, there, you know, there are some uh, spots there that we, we can accommodate and help us move the stand, influence it, participate. I'll be honest with you, it also helps with networking. So my pitch to you know, companies is, is really a network. We talk about other things, you know, other things like billing systems or what are we doing about EVs, all that stuff. Uh, and that we want to do it. And it's great. And it's, it's a great opportunity to, uh, for us, we have uh, bi-weekly pulse calls uh, on, on board meeting. Then we also have a, a members calls. And so we touch base on, on things on a regular basis. Standardize at the plus. Actually, I was hoping it could go straight up actually because we, this one really, because we published the standards, and as we said, we announced that today, it's a, it's a, really, it's a really major milestone. Certification, when I put it down, is more of a, a little bit of a down, because we were, and to be honest, we were hoping UL would be doing more, you know, from the point of view of continuing with the certification, but at this point, they just uh, uh, didn't see the, the volume come through as they expected, so it took a little longer, so now we're looking at GBA filling that, that vacuum, and as we announced, uh, we're offering that services, we get to keep the, certification piece and, and process that's involved so it's third party. Utilization, uh, we are looking at, and we'll talk a little bit about we feel directory services. It's how do you know who's doing what? And actually that's a common problem for everything, right? If you think about what Chile is, what we're doing, that's where we come here. We find out, hey, what is everybody doing? We need to sort of have the trip advisor of, of things going on so where you can see what's going on. Eventually you could even have ratings of, of uh, apps or utilities, how, how they're performing against the status. So really need to move that forward because that's really what's missing. 
as a whole in, in, in an incentive view. As much as it's interesting, as much as we've automated things and, and had so much technology, it's hard it's hard to get it all together and still have to 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 have a simple way of doing that, and which is what people like Google and others who have solved it, like that's where we need to look at. It's a go-to place, uh, marketing, we'll talk a little bit about that with the, uh, with, with the marketing piece, and I think we've got some good movement on that. And global adoption, we put it to higher because of the Korean side, as we thought was important to highlight for here in the group. Daniel, you wanna quickly talk sure. about California? Can everybody hear me? Yes. Fantastic. Uh, howdy everybody, I'm Daniel, I'm the vice chair. Um, I'm also the co-founder of Utility API. And uh, I, we have been participating in the California Public Utility Commission uh, Customer Data Access Committee, or CDAC. Um, and basically what that process has been, it was for demand response providers specifically originally, and it was looking at ways of improving the green button connect and click through process for California IOU customers. Uh, so that's in pg and &E, SCE, and sdg &E, uh, territories. Uh, we've also, uh, another uh, member of the Green Button Alliance board uh, from Ohm Connect also participated as well. And we basically went through uh, some of the pain points and the prior issues with the existing Green Button Connect implementations in California. Some of those were uh, around user experience, specifically around complex user experience or slow load times or many, many clicks. Um, sometimes it was in the you know, double digit of clicks, 20 or 30 clicks, in order to pro go through the authorization process online for Green Button Connect. Um, the second point was the, uh, there was not really an alternative to login credentials. If you didn't have an online account, like many uh, California uh, utility customers, they don't necessarily know their online login or have a utility account online. Um, and there wasn't really a way for them to be able to share their data with the demand response provider or another third party that way. Um, the data being transferred was uh, sometimes delayed or regularly delayed. It wasn't an in the moment experience, what, what we call in the moment. Um, and then also uh, the data set being provided was kind of a minimal data set. It wasn't a complete data set or a useful data set for the third party. So part of this committee was kind of addressing those issues and outlining best practices on what we should do going forward. And some of those have been implemented. We've gone through, I believe now three phases of improvements for the uh, click-through procedures for the California IOU utilities. Um, and uh, as you can see on the graph on the left side, it's uh, dramatically increased the accessibility of the Green Button Connect and, and, and data sharing in general for uh, demand response providers. It's gone from, you know, prior to this, uh, these upgrades, less than a thousand authorizations happening through the demand response uh, programs. Um, to over 100,000 authorizations cumulatively. So that's, a, that's basically showing that, the, that given focus and given improvements, um, Green Button Connect can scale and can really address um, a lot of the needs of these new energy technologies and getting signups and all of this new load flexibility, that sort of thing. This really helps, Green Button Connect really helps unlock that. So specifically by improving the user experience, improving um, access for people who don't know their online account or don't, uh, or don't have one, um, improving the, the OAuth 2 compliance that's actually has, was part of the upgrades to the new standard that was just ratified was better compliance or better focus on the OAuth 2.0 standard. And then uh, faster data transfer was, has really helped out a lot as well. So uh, basically our conclusion from California, and it's still going on, there's still improvements to be made, there's still uh, proceedings that are happening. So this is, I would say, not anywhere near done. Like we, at Utility API, we expect this to cross into the millions for sure, um, just because that's what we see the opportunity as in California. Um, but our conclusion is, um, from that experience over the last couple of years has been a successful Green Button Connect is certainly possible. Um, and at, at high volumes, um, but requires a, a specific focus on uh, the customer and the third party experience. 
and, um, and features beyond the minimum Green Button Connect requirements. Green Button Connect has a minimum set of requirements, but what we have found in this experience is that um, adding additional functionality that's still in the standard um, and then also focusing on user experience, which is not in the standard because that's not a part of the scope of Green Button Connect um, as a standard, but uh, really adding those additional features is, is super important. So things like the retail customer that Jeremy mentioned earlier. So those are the, that's kind of a rundown of our experience there. And it, it left us feeling very optimistic that this is not a fundamentally flawed um, technology. This is a really, uh, this has, this technology has a lot of opportunity. Great. Thank you, Dan. Next, Jeremy, you're going to go through the marketing? Sure. I'd like to just give you a little bit of a highlight of what, uh, what we've been doing uh, last year. And then um, uh, when we talk about the 2019, we'll introduce our new marketing chair, um, Richard uh, Benyon from Zoom Networks. Uh, so for for the year that we had just completed here, we had several key announcements. We had a board of directors election results, and we put that out uh, in press. We had, uh, of course, the launch of our, our Connect My Data certification program, which we were absolutely thrilled about. London Hydro was, uh, was uh, co-announcing that with us. They went through that program as the first utility through that program, uh, followed up by that. Of course, then we had... Uh, Utility API come through and get uh, certified for CMD as well, uh, as and uh, got their 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 connect. Uh, excuse me, their download my data certified at the same time. So that was uh, that was an exciting end of the year for us. Uh, we also announced a partnership with the with the U.S. Department of Energy's DataGuard Energy Data Privacy Program, which is a volu uh, volunteer program that allows for. Uh, uh, sort of a baseline or, or a, uh, a menu as they like to, uh, an a la carte menu as uh, they like to call it, uh, of different rules and things to follow for, uh, for dealing with data in situ. So we, of course, with Green Button, talk about uh, data in transit and they talk about data at rest. And so it's a good program to be involved in um, for both utilities as well as for third parties. And it also serves as a template for or many just different jurisdictions that have to uh, determine uh, a base level of privacy uh, and uh, security. So then we had a webinar on that and uh, we had of course DOE involved in that, utility API, uh, GBA staff, and, uh, and it was uh, uh, co-promoted and, um, and hosted by one of our uh, affiliate members, the Smart Energy Consumer Collaborative. We also uh, put out about eight newsletters covering a number of different things. We changed the format. Uh, we, uh, we sent out uh, GDPR compliance uh, to be sure that we were not spamming anyone. Uh, we introduced a, a did you know section and we had uh, many different member spotlights featured in the newsletter. And of course we feature those on our website and on our social media as well. Uh, our next uh, or excuse me, our last uh, general meeting, if you'd uh, push the slide one more for me, please, was at Distributech uh, in 2018. And this year we decided not to do it at Distributech, but to do it at CS Week uh, so that we could garner a different audience here and uh, a little bit different focus. So uh, just to recap what we did at that time, we exhibited, we had uh, quite a few different members, uh, NG, was the sponsor of our, of our meeting. Uh, it was a breakfast meeting, as you can see in the middle photograph here on the right. Uh, it, went, it was uh, well attended and, uh, and it was very excited. And, and like always, we opened it to members and non-members, which is always a great way to share what we're doing in the community. Uh, we also participated in the, uh, in the cons consumer symposium, which was by the Smart Energy Consumer Collaborative, which you see in the bottom right uh, photograph. Uh, well-attended audience and, uh, and talked about transforming the customer relationship. So these are some of the wonderful things that we did uh, with some of our members, with the Terry Ministry of Energy, uh, with NG, with London Hydro, San Diego Gas and Electric, Utility API, uh, and the Continental Automated Buildings Association. And 
on the next slide, you'll see uh, just a, a spattering of uh, different things that we had done during this last year, different uh, forums, different um, uh, events, different speaking opportunities in different fields as well, in real estate, in water, uh, in, in, uh, in customer service, uh, in dealing with, uh, with all sorts of different things. So you can get an idea of where we have been, and we'll talk a little bit more uh, in the slides to come about where we intend to go. All right, and you know, what we're going to do is go have the members go through a little bit of their profiles and, and the key things we'd like to highlight is, is what are the benefits and where they are in their journey. So you're going to hear from some of the members as we go through. Uh, starting with um, Renata with pg and &E. All right, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. All right, thanks. Uh, nice to meet people, um, everyone whom I haven't met before. Uh, my name is Renata Bakuseva. I work at pg &E and my team owns both the green button, connect my data and the download my data in the connect my data um, at pg and &E, we call share my data. So we've been using it for about four years now. And as of a month ago when I updated the slide, <laughs> we had about 150,000 customers um, you share my data daily and we're up to one and a half million API calls on a monthly basis so that's quite a big um, quite a huge volume uh, compared to where we were you know when we first started about four years ago and as Daniel pointed out with the recent changes to our authorization process and enabling the online authorization process within the last year we've really seen an increase in the number of customers and also third parties that are using uh, share my data and you know there's a lot of opportunity obviously to customize it to improve it and as Daniel said it's not done yet uh, there's still a lot we can do but I do I want to highlight the benefit of having a standard um, and having a minimum of where you know everybody kind of has to start at because that really helps with onboarding all of our vendors and it, it enables them to understand um, this is what I have to do at a minimum in order to get the data. This is how I go about, you know, getting customers, getting signed up to the system. So um, definitely um, decreases how much support we have to do for onboarding, which is great. And it enables us to support a lot more, a greater number of third parties. Awesome. Uh, and I think I'll stop there. Thank you. Any questions? I guess if anybody has. All right. So All right. Again, thank you, Renata. Jenna Simmons is one of our board members, and so he's here in person. So thank you for okay. taking uh, the time. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is James Sang, and my name is Andy. Um, been on the board uh, for over two years now, I guess. And um, uh, for those of you who don't know what Angie does in North America, we're uh, a retail electricity provider and energy services provider for uh, mostly CNI customers in, in the United States and Canada. And uh, what I do with Angie is I head over our portfolio risk management group for uh, our CNI B2B retail electricity business, as well as I also head over our uh, data and analytics committee of practice for the entire commercial footprint. So when I got over into this role, uh, it didn't really took, take too long to uh, realize that uh, accessing and uh, sharing utility data is a very painful thing to do, especially uh, on the retail side, we deal with over 50 different power utilities. And uh, our sister company, NG Insight, deals with 2,400 utilities and try to collect data from these utilities and consider the number of standards that we have to go through. It's, it's really a painful uh, Thing to do. So that's why we started supporting Green Button Alliance, mainly because we do feel it's very important that uh, allowing and advocating for easy, universal, standardized, and transparent access to meter user is very important because without that, there's no way to uh, really innovate solutions that benefit the customer. So that's why NG is also a sponsor member for the Green Button Alliance. And really, what we try to focus on in our roadmap is. Uh, try to increase the adoption of this standard across the United States. So that's why I put this, put this slide together. We do use this standard in our internal system. So we store our usage data using the green button format. We exchange it using the green button format and we find it very useful and easy to, to uh, implement as well. 
so cloud based. I think we have over a million different leaders um, that are already stored in the system and exchanged within our businesses in North America. Um, and also, uh, one of our maybe a use case we can use later is uh, we recently won a contract to uh, manage Ohio State University's entire network for the next 50 years. So we're putting our own smart meters, uh, putting, again, this doesn't, doesn't just stop at electricity. So we're going to monitor natural gas data, water data, steam data, chilled water. At the end of the day, they're all time series data. So we can actually, we're thinking of implementing the standard for, for those things as well. And uh, the next thing we do is obviously regulatory advocacy and uh, just put together some examples in the states that are either green or blue, looking at the older map. Uh, Texas, I think, is an important win for the industry. Last year, uh, the Public Utility Commission of Texas, there was a docket number 47472 uh, that basically took Smart Meter Texas, which was a data repository uh, from 1.0, and uh, all the stakeholders agreed to move to 2.0, which I think is a familiar story that we heard from Daniel from, from California as well. For Smart Meter Texas, there's 7 million meters, but the adoption was really, really small because of the fact that the user experience was pretty much terrible. I live in Texas and it took me two days just to be able to get my own data from that portal because you have to physically go outside of, of your home and look at the meter and look at the number and put it in a portal, enroll, and then try to share your data. Literally took two days and this is someone from the industry. So hopefully with 2.0, it will be much more different. It will be very much like California where the users will be just clicking through things and sharing their data much more easily. Ohio is important because there is a power forward initiative. Uh, we're actively engaged there in the data working group. So hopefully good news will, will come from that. They're definitely looking at actively implementing the green the standard. Um, New York is a little bit of a bad story so far because of the uh, data security agreement discussions that are really impeding the the the, uh, the green <coughs> implementation. Uh, basically, the, the state is asking for really high security standards, which is not a bad thing, but it's very difficult to implement for the entire industry. So, uh, Illinois is a little bit of a, well, good and bad news. Um, the good news is obviously the Green Button Connect standard is implemented in the Exelon and uh, Emmer. But uh, the bad news is the user experience is not really the best thing. I think there are 13 steps they have to go through to share their data. So a bit of an improvement uh, needed there. Maryland, there's an ongoing PC44. Um, I guess that's a, that's a proceeding as well. So there's positive progress. I think Maryland will be one of the other states that will implement Green Button Connect with all the utilities. New Hampshire and DC are very exciting because they're trying to implement something similar to Texas, Smart Meter Texas. So a singular data repository, not, not basically every utility having their own data silos, but a statewide repository. And New Hampshire is looking at even beyond energy. So also storing customer data within that same repository as well. So we're actively pursuing those two as well. And uh, Minnesota uh, is a new bill that passed the House. It's actually going to the Senate for third party access and they're also possible. There are others that I have a space on the slide. So Michigan is another one, North Carolina is another one that's really progressing really quickly. So thank you. Thank you. David. Hi everyone. I'm very glad to be here today. Uh, I'm Dave Woolman. I'm with the National Institute of Standards and Technology. And our participation uh, with the Green Button program goes back to its very beginnings. We helped to provide the technical foundation uh, and also worked with Department of Energy and other agencies in the White House on the launch of the Green Button Initiative and all of the follow-on activities. Uh, so we're um, uh, delighted uh, to help support Green Button Alliance. Uh, it's very good to see all the folks uh, participating on the call today. And uh, it's also gratifying to see the continued advances. And I love the emphasis on uh, making sure the consumers uh, have a good experience. I think that will help drive uh, continued progress. Um, so uh, uh, with that, a uh, very short update. Um, and I'll turn it back to you, Saeed. Thank you. Great, thank you. Glenn, have your side effects going. Oh. That's my turn. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's uh, Zoran uh, from London Hydro, and I'm going to provide you an update from the uh, London Hydro utility uh, angle for, for our progress in the last year. 
and a green button uh, segment. So uh, I highlighted six items here on this slide. And uh, the first one is obviously Jeremy and Sad mentioned that we were the first one to go through the Connect My Data certification. And it wasn't really about the going the first, it was about all the knowledge and uh, applying all the utility use cases to make sure that certification process uh, is as seamless or as easy uh, for utilities or upcoming um, um, applicants to, uh, for the Connect My Data platform. So lots of learning, uh, a big thank you to Green Button Alliance, uh, to their technical team, Don, Jeremy, uh, we learned a lot and I believe it was, uh, we provided a lot of valuable input that we can, uh, so we can use this uh, information and make it uh, uh, not a 13 step process, but as automated as possible for utilities to uh, have this important seal. And uh, I, can't, I can't really um, highlight enough how important this certification because it really allows, uh, helps the third party developers to connect to the platform and know exactly what to expect. So uh, great success. And again, a big thank you to Green Button Alliance for the support. Uh, uh, second one is uh, we mentioned our progress in the last year working with uh, uh, on our pilot program, um, enabling real time, going behind the meter and enabling real time data uh, with the Green Button again. Uh, it's time series data, whether it's measured in seconds, milliseconds or minutes or monthly data. Uh, we, we actually completed our, I guess, journey, I can say, on adding different cadence or different, um, um, seeing how the real-time data can be incorporated in a green button standard as well. So uh, some really high, high, uh, high level highlight. We're right now at the end of the pilot. We're working on our MMV and uh, preliminary results are showing really good res um, uh, behavioral uh, base savings, but also they're showing that customers do uh, do react on the, when the real-time data is available. Again, powered by Green Button. Um, uh, we have Corey here as well from NMAX uh, in partnership with NMAX Energy Corporation. We have uh, launched the Green Button pilot for Alberta. Uh, we um, did that uh, in February this year. So congratulations and thank you for the support. Uh, that's the first pilot program and, and first Green Button platform in the in Alberta market. And what's really interesting about this is that we have, um, that we share uh, customers. So uh, customers that are currently using Green Button uh, have offices in Ontario and Mississauga and London and also in, in Calgary. So uh, you'll hear a little bit more about this in upcoming months. Um, fourth item is we're actively working on promoting Green Button platform. Uh, with other utilities, uh, we have Southwestern Ontario Utility, Enwin, uh, that is currently um, in process of implementation. So we're the behind the scenes of we providing this uh, green button platform and my account to Enwin Utility. So another great success story and bringing more meters to the green button platform in Ontario. Uh, last but not least uh, is the green button directory services. I actually don't want to steal my own thunder. There's a slide. Yeah, there's, there's a slide coming here. Uh, and also working with another utility partner such as Enbridge uh, on the Sarah's here. Oh, hello, Sarah. Um, and uh, working on a green button pilot and seeing how um, unified customer experience, having a utility, electricity, water, gas, data. And we have actually Daniel from, from the city here as well, uh, can enhance uh, customer experience. And again, powered by green button. So lots of going on in, uh, on our side and uh, looking forward to more updates. Next, Daniel, for Utility API. Hi, um, I'm gonna be really quick since I talked earlier, but as far as an update from Utility API, we uh, uh, got a grant in 2017 from the Department of Energy to build a Green Button Connect compliant um, implementation of our platform. Uh, we successfully completed that certification process in 2018, and we are now commercializing it. So if you are a um, utility in the U.S. or a utility vendor, we can also white label it um, as well. Please come talk to us. But other than that, uh, I'll let, release the rest of my time back to the group. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Last profile, John. Okay. Is John in the room there? Nope. 
may have not be able to find it. <laughs> you want to do a quick one on this one? Okay. Uh, sure, yeah. Home, Home Connect provided us uh, uh, a member profile of what they're doing. Um, one of the biggest things that they're involved in is, uh, is that they had helped develop the California click-through process, which uh, Daniel had described earlier uh, and its successes. And also they're working to expand the click-through into other DER providers beyond just um, demand response. Uh, so distributed energy resource providers is a, is a key focus for them. And they're also looking uh, at working with uh, Consolidated Edison of New York and uh, Commonwealth Edison in Chicago. Okay, thanks. So that's the end of the profile. So now we're just going to quickly spend five minutes going looking ahead a little bit. And I know we're a little bit behind time, but we'll try and uh, make up. So we're looking ahead is obviously from well, a point of view is uh, certification, directory services, growing the system. And it's really about education and, and uh, co-marketing and use cases. So really looking for new members. Next slide, I'll hand it over quickly to Zorin on directory services. Yeah, so really, really briefly on a green button directory service, we already touched on this point is how do we enable the ecosystem with one stop shop to know everything about green button, whether is that re, uh, related to where do I get the code, where do I learn about it, how do I see who's, who's doing what. So in collaboration with Green Button Alliance, we're working on creating, enhancing the, the digital presence by adding the directory service uh, this uh, service and the system w will allow essentially uh, to, uh, with one click or a few clicks, to connect not only uh, utilities with uh, third parties, but also provide um, uh, ratings for the apps and all that information that we have in the members' profiles that we just went through it, it will be accessible to systems such as directory service. So more to come, but uh, this is a natural progression and it, we made significant progress in the last year. Rick, I know just the interest of time, if you could maybe quickly go through the marketing piece, if you can. Well, I'm just gonna say that um, we're gonna continue doing all of the great things, uh, building on what we did for 2018. Um, the uh, push for uh, 2019 is we want to uh, have customer success stories on how Green Button is solving uh, problems, and we're putting together a uh, video customer uh, testimonial package that we're gonna send out to all of the members so that we can easily get some great video um, from the members to promote Green Button. That's that's the main uh, thrust for the rest of the year. And again, that's the video he was referring to. And then in the last slide there, just there is a bunch of uh, webinars coming up as well. Yeah, we have a bunch of webinars that, uh, that we're working on. Uh, one is almost done. And the other ones uh, we're organizing with members uh, to get subject matter experts to create this great series of uh, webinars uh, throughout the rest of the year. And lastly, just a speaking agreement, and this opens up to anybody who's a member of GBA, you know, welcome that you can go and speak. We're always looking for volunteers to, to go in and, and talk at these sessions as well. Thank you, Rick. I know you've been really, um, really passionate about this and helping move forward. So I want to really acknowledge that and thank you for your efforts. And, and, and there are some statistics here as well on, uh, on where we've got on our site and so forth. So Valdez, who's on our, on our is really, really passionate. If, you've been, if she was here, she, you, you could tell that uh, uh, she, she lives and breathes. I think Green Button goes through her blood uh, system. So, so, so I'd like to end with um, one final thought. Uh, you know, uh, last year I talked a little bit about social responsibility, Green Button. Uh, this year, I'd, I'd like to really end with the uh, leave it with a note about about a digital utility. You know, our CEO, we're looking at in London Hydro to become a digital utility, and and we're going to focus. Uh, we heard at the session we were at uh, the executive summit, Southern California Edison really talked about that's anytime, anywhere for to demand to satisfy customer needs. And so, how do you become more digital uh, in a secure way? We believe Green Button is really an enabler about this to make you uh, a really a better and we just heard about uh, one of our takeaways is to make that customer experience simple. So how do we show value from, from giving our customer more choices and making it simple from them to promote a digital customer which reduces efficiencies on our side from being able to be more promote self-service, uh, virtual call centers to how we handle outages and, and looking at where we are from even e-learning and, and so forth. So there's a number of initiatives where we're all taking part on as utilities. 
Um, the suggestion here is to look at it as being, think of it from an open standard point of view. So I'd like to leave that note with you to think of all development of what you're doing from an open. And that means you're sharing with other utilities, you're gonna leverage what others have done. And so I'd like to leave that note with you that for us, it's really about becoming more digital. The more we do together, the more effective we'll be, and maybe we'll get more value for our dollars when we move forward. And I note again, right on time, uh, thank everybody for, for making it here and uh, for people on the phone, I really appreciate uh, your time. And, and we just wanna end with the fact that uh, we look for new members, so feel free to sign up. <laughs> thank you.